go to your Unreal project browser, go to Games, select the first person template, have it as a blueprint project, and give it a name that you want. Feel free to change the quality preset if your PC isn't up to snuff. First thing I'm going to do is remove the gun here because we will not be needing it. We're going to set up our interaction system using interfaces. So, in your content browser, create a new folder and call it Blueprints. Alternatively, you can just do Control Shift N to make a new folder. Make a new folder, call it Interfaces, and then go into that folder, right click, go to Blueprint, and then Blueprint Interface. Let's call this BPI, which stands for Blueprint Interface, underscore interaction. Feel free to dock this window in the existing window. Under the functions on the right side of the screen, you can click F2 to rename it. Let's call this interaction. Under the input section, add a new one, call it calling actor. And then under our type, let's call it, let's do actor object reference. Compile your blueprint and save it. You can close out of this now. Under blueprints, make a new blueprint class of type actor and call it BP underscore interactable. Under the class settings, make sure you go to Interfaces, Implemented Interface, click Add, scroll down to BPI Interaction, and click. Now you'll notice that we have an Interfaces section under the My Blueprint tab. In the Event Graph, we can go ahead and clear everything that's here. We can click this Interaction under Interfaces, right-click it, and click Implement Event. So whenever we call Interaction on here, this is the code that we want to run. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do print string and instead of having it just be hello let's put a little exclamation point at the end how we're going to call this is we're going to do a line trace from the player camera hit an object and if we find out that it does implement this interaction interface then we're going to call it on the bp first person character class what we want to do is go ahead and do keyboard events just click the first one that you see, go to input key, click this little keyboard icon, and then press the E key. Then what we want to do is do a line trace by channel. Then what we want to do for start and end is we want to get this positions relative to the camera. So we're going to get the first person camera, get its world location. We're going to have this be the start point. And then for the end point, we're going to get the forward vector of the camera's rotation. And we're going to multiply it by an integer or float value, which would be our interaction distance. The max distance I want to be able to interact from is 750 units. We're going to multiply this by the forward vector so it extends in that direction. And then we're going to add this to our world location. And then we're going to set this as the endpoint. For the draw debug type, we want to set it as for duration. And if you click this little drop down menu, you can change the time for the duration. I like to leave it on the default five seconds. So if we go ahead and compile and run, we can go ahead and see if we press E, we get these little lasers that get shot out. And you'll notice that if they hit through something, they will come out green on the other side. Line traces store a number of data about our hits. How we can access it is we can either break the hit result, or what I like to do is just split the struct pin in this node. It may look like there's a lot of stuff here, but we're actually only going to use two things. The return value, which will say if we hit something or not, and the out hit actor. If we do hit something, this will give us the data. First things first, we don't want to run any of this code if we don't even hit anything. So, let's get a branch. Which, by the way, if you want a keyboard shortcut, you can hold B and left click. If we do hit something, what we want to do is see if the actor that we hit implements an interface. So we can search does implement interface. Under the interface class, let's go ahead and find our BPI interaction. If we do hit something and it does implement the interaction interface, what we want to do is call the interaction. So let's just search interaction. And then we will plug this into true. So now if we go ahead and just run it as it is, if we shoot around, nothing happens. Because we've not actually placed anything that's interactable in our level yet. So we can go to our blueprints, go to BP interactable, and then make sure that we add a cube or just some other visual object. Go ahead and drag this on the default scene route so it gets rid of that annoying little sprite. 
and then we can drag it into our scene. Let's put it right here so it matches up with the grid. Another fun fact, if you hit N, it'll go ahead and drop it straight on the ground. So if we run up to it and we hit E, it says hello. Very nice. Now this is everything that you need to get a basic little interaction system up and going. The reason we have this calling actor input is because if we want to do something to the actor that calls it, say we have a button that has a trap on it, and if an enemy goes up and tries to use the button, it'll shock them, then this is what you can use that for. If you want to do stuff on the player, if they call it, you can also do that here. That being the case, make sure for calling actor, you type in self. So that way, anyone that wants to do something with this variable, they can do something with it. And for more debug stuff, what we can do is, if we do hit something, but it doesn't implement the interface, we can go ahead and just print that out and say so. Next thing is we're just going to clean this up and make sure it looks presentable. There we go. Looks a little better. So now if we compile it and run it, we can go ahead and see if we hit this, it doesn't implement it. This doesn't implement it. But this doesn't implement it. But if we don't hit anything, we also want to make sure we don't say anything. Because the air is obviously not going to implement this. One thing we can also do is if we go to the interactable interaction event, then what we can do is go destroy actor. Say it's an item that we want to pick up. We can just come into here, do that, and now it's in our inventory. Obviously, it'll require more work to get this up and running, but that's for a future video. I hope this helped you, and have fun. Also, I have a Fiverr account if you would like to hire me to make a game. Okay, bye.